This video is brought to you by Peugeot Butterworth, located in Butterworth, Penang, Malaysia. Hey guys, right here I have a 2017 Peugeot 208 1.2 PureTech. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. You can manually activate the headlights just by pressing this button. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors automatically folds in. And upon unlocking, the side mirrors automatically folds out again. The 208 comes with a rack and pinion power steering system with electrical assistance. A leather wrapped steering wheel with contrast stitching going around the inner rim is standard on the face lifted 208. The face lifted 208 rolls into Malaysia with a new PureTech engine and a new transmission option to go with it. This new transmission is a 6-speed automatic with manual shifting capabilities. Rear parking sensors are standard as is the sport and the winter driving modes. These two modes are selected by the buttons to the left of the gear lever. 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability program, anti-skid regulation, hill start assist, dead locking, and mobilizer, and ISOFIX child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats are the safety features available on the 208. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. To pop open the bonnet, pull a lever located to the left of the front passenger's footwell. Sixteen inch Titan alloy rims painted in technical grey are standard on the two zero eight Piotek in Malaysia. The rims on this two zero eight are covered in Michelin Energy Saver one nine five fifty five R sixteen tires. Disc brakes are present front and rear, with the ones in front being ventilated while the rear ones are solid. The suspension gets McPherson struts and a torsion beam setup, front and back respectively. The two zero eight is Peugeot's B segment Super Mini. It first debuted at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show as a replacement for the 207. The 208 is built on the same PSA PF1 platform as its predecessor, but it is over 100kg lighter than the older model. In terms of size, the 207 is also a larger car than the 208, but it is a letter that offers more interior space and a bigger boot. The 208 is also the first production Peugeot to feature the French company's new iCockpit interior design language, where the steering wheel is small, there is a heads-up display style instrument cluster, and there is also a central display to control most of the vehicle's in-car functions. Like its predecessors, the 208 is also available in the range-topping GTI model. The 208 was given a facelift in 2015 which consisted of a new front grille, new front bumper, refreshed headlights, revised rear light graphics, and slight changes to the interior. The heart of the 208 Piotek is a 1.2-litre, 
dual overhead cams, 12 valves, turbocharged inline 3 petrol engine with variable valve timing and direct injection. This engine produces 110 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 205 newton meters of torque from 1500 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 9.8 seconds and the top speed is 190 km per hour. 50 liters is the size of the fuel tank and the combined fuel consumption for the 208 Pure Tank Automatic is 4.5 liters per 100 km. 104 grams of carbon dioxide is produced per kilometer and the 208 is a front wheel drive vehicle. The facelifted 208 went on sale in Malaysia at the beginning of this year in a single variant, the 208 1.2 PureTech. Exterior features of the 208 PureTech include automatic manual leveling halogen projector headlights, automatic wipers, cornering lights, LED daytime running lights, LED rear lights, front and rear fog lights, rear parking sensors, indicators on the chrome side mirrors, and body colored door handles. Storage, speakers. Right here, you do have your mirror controls, window controls. All of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. And you do have your window lock right here as well. Electronic child locks for the rear doors, parking sensors, stability control, and this button activates or deactivates the vehicle's eco stop and start system. If you do have the system activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam, to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. Storage, and the headlight level adjustment lever is right there. The driver's seat in this 208 Pure Tank does get full manual adjustments. This lever controls the seat back, this lever controls the seat height, and this bar down here controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she revs.
electronic central locking and below you do have your dual zone automatic climate control system it does come standard under 208 PureTech and the controls are actually quite simple to use you do have your fan speed, recirculation, different modes front and rear defrost, automatic mode, air conditioning, driver side temperature and your passenger side temperature cup holders, storage, your auxiliary and USB ports and a power outlet. The 208 Piotec gets an integrated 7-inch color touch screen head unit with various media connectivity options and 6 speakers for the sound system. <laughs> The 208 Pure Tank does have quite a decent stock sound system. We are currently in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu with your current song playing information. You do have the artist, album, title, you can go back a song, go forward a song. Hit this button to bring up your media settings. You do have your radio list, photos, media list if available, settings and your audio settings. Under audio settings, you can set your bass treble, your preset equalizers, loudness, balance and fader, your various sound effects and your ringtones. Now if you hit this button right here, we can bring up your list of media options. You do have FM, AM, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio streaming and iPod connectivity. Now to go back to the main menu, hit the menu button. Under radio media, we basically go back to your well radio media menu. Under settings, you do have your audio settings. You can turn off the display. Hit that button and you can bring up your configuration menu with your system settings, time and date, screen settings and your language. This is your Peugeot Connect Apps menu where you can connect to the internet if available and right here we do have your Bluetooth telephone menu where you can dial a number, look at your call list, look at your phone book bring up your Bluetooth connections, telephone options, and search for devices. Driving with your tire pressure monitoring system, vehicle settings, your driving data to the right with your current figures, trip 1 and trip 2. Under the two trip meters, you do have your average fuel consumption, distance traveled, and average speed. Under current figures, you do have your range, instant fuel consumption, and how long the eco stop and start system has been running for. If you hit the SRC button, we can basically bring up your list of media options. And right above, you do have your volume and power knob. Front quarter windows. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, make sure this switch is in the middle and pull back on it. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your volume control. If you press the volume wheel down, you can mute the system. And right down here, you can press this button to go through your different media options. On the right spoke, you do have your seat crack wheel. And this button performs several functions. If you are in your FM AM menus, pressing this button will actually bring up your list of radio stations. But if not, if you press the button longer, it will bring up your telephone menu. On the right stalk, you do have your wiper controls and if you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk, press it and you can go through your driving data as well. And on the left stalk, you do have your light and indicator controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescoping. You adjust it using this lever right here. couple of cup holders for the rear, auto dimming, rear view mirror, 
and your interior lights are located right above. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror. Alright! So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. speaker, storage, and your window control. The rear seat bags in this 208 do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first to make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the levers on the sides of the outer two headrests. Push it and flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I do get about this much in terms of headroom. It is not the most spacious back here, but at least the seats are still nice and comfortable. You do get storage pockets on the front seat backs. No rear center armrest for this one. And right above. You do have hooks for both sides at the back. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touchpad right beneath the Peugeot badge. Boot space in the 208 measures 285 litres and 1076 litres, with the rear seat backs upright and folded down respectively. To the left of the boot, there is a light and underneath the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit and jack. The fuel flap itself is not actually lockable but the fuel cap is, so you do need the key to open up the fuel cap. Adjustable headrests, front and rear.
The front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side just that it loses out on the height adjustment. As with most other right-hand drive Peugeot and Citroëns, the glove box is actually quite small due to the location of the fuse box right here. You only have this area to store items in. Sun visor for the front passenger does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2017 Peugeot 208 1.2 PureTech. Thanks for watching and goodbye.